drugs is a fairy tale. It is a tale about a battle, a war waged against fire-breathing dragons. In our world, these are the drug users. Unfortunately, this fairy tale is headed for a very unhappy ending. The dragons, it turns out, aren't dragons after all, but damsels in distress. Damsels we keep up locked in high towers and iron towers. At its heart, the story of the war on drugs is a story about people. It is about a story about the 60,000 people who have lost their lives in Mexico in the past six years alone, about the 100,000 serving out criminal sentences in the United States, about the untold millions who have lost livelihoods, who have lost their livelihoods around the world. So, um, to answer the question of whether we should support random drug testing in school about the youth, um, the answer is no. And I'll be talking about three reasons why this is not, we should not support this, and um, summarize at the end. Okay, so the three reasons are no, we should not support random drug testing in high schools, because studies have shown that random drug testings in high schools have, do not deter drug use at all and have no impact on problematic use. No, um, these perpetuate a mentality of drug users as criminals, one that has led to very serious unintended consequences, which I will delve on further. And no, because these deprive students, the youth, a critical segment of our population, and a crucial factor in any country's economic growth of vital opportunities that will lead, they will lead later on. So firstly, um, random drug testing in high schools should have no effect. These are policies that are senseless and should be stricken out. Um, unfortunately, they still exist in many places around the world. Uh, for instance, in the Philippines, it's it, at all levels, there is random drug testing in high schools, and yet these are shown to have no effect. Um, moreover, uh, secondly, these perpetuate the mentality of drug users as criminals and exacerbate the unintended consequences of the war on drugs. So, for instance, in the Philippines, you have grave violations of human rights because you have people as young as 13 years old sending, um, spending criminal sentences, often for multiple years, for use of not as harmful substances, for inhalants and solvents. Um, it, substances which cause more harm to them than to society overall. Um, so, among the other unintended consequences these cause are human rights abuses, uh, criminal justice um, delays, because what happens is you have overcrowded prisons filled with minors, filled with uh, drug users who are one-time offenders, who, not, who are non-violent, and um, another unintended consequence is that th this greatly undermines access to public health for these individuals. Um, the third point is that by allowing policies like this to exist, by allowing prohibitionist policies like this to exist, you're depriving students, the youth, like a very vital segment of the population around the world, of opportunities. You're taking them out of school. You are, um, you are encouraging the, uh, you are, increasing the risk of recidivism, of that they will return like, um, as drug users, that they will commit more criminal offenses. So it's a senseless policy. It's a senseless policy from a human rights standpoint. It's a senseless policy from a criminal, criminal justice standpoint, overcrowding prisons. And it is a senseless policy from a public health standpoint. It, it's random drug testing in high school serves no purpose but to continue the senseless war. Um, so, um, so today I talked about a fairy tale. I told, talked talk to you about a fairy tale. Um, a fairy tale that is very real in our world today. It's, it's, it's a fairy tale that is headed for a very, very unhappy ending of uh, a fairy tale where the dragons which we think we are slaying turn out to be the victims. And uh, it's a fairy tale that we should correct now. That if we, if we undertake a rapid change in the way we view this problem, if we go into harm reduction 
and think about public health and prioritize justice that we can correct. So it can have a happy ending, but we have to work on that now. So thank you. <laughs>